Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to write a workflow with decision branching and approval process. So by this time now, I have already explained all the core concepts about workflow in this series. In this tutorial, we'll see how to write workflow with or split branching. So let's understand the use case first. So this workflow will publish page to the publish environment, but how? So as soon as this workflow start, it will lock that page. This is not necessary. Intention here is to explain how you should write the branches or split and the approval process. Okay. So as a standard in our AM Geek site, we have multiple country sites for the India, US and other countries. So as soon as this workflow start, the page will be locked and this item means workflow item or the page will be assigned to a particular person which is the approver for the particular country. Obviously that will be authored, we'll add that step. This workflow will move itself as per the country. So if it is Indian, it should go to the leftmost process. If it is US, the middle one, and for the other country sites, it will move to right one. Obviously for other countries, we don't need approval. State away, it will publish. So that is the use case. One more thing for us there's a one one step approval means the guy approves it and it will publish but for the india there's a two level approval process means the for appro approver one will approve that process page then it will go to the approver two then if that person second person approve then only it will publish both guys will be having to send it back means the reject so this is the use case in this tutorial you will understand how to write branching Okay, now let's see the tutorials straight away means the demo. Okay, so let me create a model called geeks publish workflow. This has been created just edit that and add a this one remove this out of box one and add there is a process already available to lock 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 payload. Okay just use this i'll rename it to the lock page or something say lock page all right nothing further needed now here you need to add the branching that is important the, the intention of this tutorial to make you understand how the branching works there might be number of permutation combination but i'll explain how to move branching okay now you need to add or split because this if we have multiple branches either one will be processed add or split by default it will add two so now let's update okay give some name let's say publish page okay let's say publish page branching now how this branch will be choose let me add one more branch so let's have three branches first let me rename this let's say in all right second one is us so now we added three branches but as soon as you publish or run this workflow how that item should go to this 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 or the third one so for that there's a three ways you can decide that you come here and if you see here you will see the select routing expression so the three ways one is rule definition external script and ECMAScript. scripts so I will explain these two later we'll use this ECMAScript. scripts okay if you choose this you will have a sample code here just sample code to see you so when you write ECMAScript, scripts there is a method called check function check if this function return true then this branch will execute okay otherwise if it is a false it will not so this is just a sample code we'll write code as per our need so what do we need we need if the let's say let's say come here let me open it first so what should happen if any page under this should publish so it should go to this branch in branch okay so what i'll do i'll write a condition in this function here 
So you will see here some objects are already available to this function like workflow data. There are others as well workflow session and all we'll see when we need. So what I'm saying here get payload you got the payload and string to string that means it will give the path of your payload and what is your payload your payload is your page. So what I'm saying here if P means the path start with this content slash am kick slash en. So if any page under e, e i n sorry India that should return true. Okay. If you want to print something in log, there is a uh, object available log here. Okay. If you write something here, it will print in your error logs. All right. So what it is saying this check method check function return true if that any page under i n. Okay. Same way you can write it here for the U S and the other condition for the others. Okay, so for US it's simple just add US for other what I'm saying if path does not start with either US or IN in that case it should move to third one where the approval is not required. So just save it. Okay, now now we have decided how to move to these branches. Now let me add the participant step and add a approval to it. So for India, I added a participant step and I added a title like level one IN approver and a user. I add a user, which is the name is IN user. I created this user. Okay. It is already existing. So this one I added. So for now I added this same way I'll add for this as well. Let's say US approver. US approver. Okay. And here I have a user like US underscore users. Wait a minute. US users. All right. Done. Now, so now as soon as this will go here or here, this guy will receive a email means notification email. I did not configure. So they will receive a notification. Now, this person should have a right to decide. Now we'll add the branching. So you will see here, I again added an or condition or split. Okay. But I did not write rule to move it because now this guy will take a decision whether need to go approve or reject. Okay. I, I added wrong. So I, I'll just switch those names. Okay. So what happened if it is approved? Let me switch that actually branches. Okay. This is my approve. All right. So as soon as the guy will approve this first, it will unlock page. There is a already available uh, step or the process. You do not need to write. And after unlock, it will activate page means publish page. That is also out of box available. Why am I unlocking it? Because you need to unlock it. If it is already locked, it will not publish. This is just for your information. Okay. If it is reject, let's say the guy does not like content. It says some difference, something needed. So it will assign back. Okay. It reject as soon as it's reject, it will assign back to initiator. Like let's say I initiate this workflow. So this item will be assigned back to me for further processing to kill this workflow or whatever. So there is already a process available called workflow initiator participant chooser, which itself assign it to the person who already who started this. Okay. So this is complete now. Now let's come here. Let's add the split branch here as well the same way. And the one advantage here is you can copy paste. Okay. Just copy and you can paste it and then you can later on update. So you, you, you do not need to rework. Just copy paste those things and change something, whatever as per your need. Okay. So this all split came here, but in this case, I need one more level of approval. So I add one more participant chooser here. Okay. Here, let's say if it is approved, then I need here. So let me move it here. So this is, has been added. Let me uh, rename it. And in this I'll add I N one underscore user. There's one more user I created for India for level two and name is level two. Just save it. Now this guy will take a decision. So rather than these steps, I need again a branching. So let me remove this. Okay. We copy paste this from the another branch. So just remove it now. Now copy paste this. Okay. Here in this and paste it. 
okay now you will see let me remove this okay so that it can look big so now what happened okay you will see level one it will move to level two okay if it is approved if it is reject it will back to the guy back to this initiator who initiate this now if level one now is up to level two if level two approve it will unlock and activate if level two reject so it will assign back to initiator if you don't want to assign back to initiator you what you can do add a participant chooser add one more here and assign back to level one so this guy will send back to level one okay so it's simple simple just add and who was the level one let's say assign back assign to level one and assign this to in underscore user which is the level one okay in underscore user all right done so you will see there's a two level first this will approve then this will approve all right and for other branch for the other side just just add this means it will always unpublish means unlock and activate page save it so now you, your workflow is done let me sync it don't forget to sync this and just refresh it once you see it's it's it looks good now so what you must understand here first this or split this or split will be based on condition based on the code what you wrote okay here either it, hey it will go here here or this one in this one level one the guy will take a decision this will be assigned to this person this will take a decision whether to publish this page or assign back to the initiator or to kill that workflow in India this guy will approve now this will go to the level 2 guy and this level 2 guy will take a decision whether to approve or send back to this guy okay we added this participant step and uh, configure here or this guy this guy can send to level 2 or assign back to who initiate that workflow it's a pretty simple you just need to understand this branching intention here is to explain the branching okay this is a, a approval workflow now sync it now let's start this later on we can add this workflow on some condition like if you activate page for but for now testing purpose we will trigger it manually okay we'll trigger this manually so let's start this workflow choose payload and we'll choose the payload first for the us okay let's go am geek sites and us site okay any site us let's say home or let's say the bio and choose it and run this so as soon as you start workflow you will see a workflow instance go to the instances and if you check here you will find a instance if you want to check the history of it just open history and you will see this has been assigned to this person first it lock and then assigned to here so if i log in with that user you will see a notification let me refresh a bit okay you will see a notification and you will see a task in its inbox so as soon as user complete this so it can move to assign back and unlock why unlock because the next step is unlock if you see here so this is history and this is unlock okay so if you see even if you see the replication you won't find anything in the queue but as soon as you publish as soon as you approve let me approve okay now the page should have been published page should be there in queue because my publish instance is not running so you won't see anything so let me refresh this so you see the page has been come here if i now now let me run this again with indian page okay indian content let me content geeks and in page all right this one the same page and let's run 
So you will find another instance of workflow and you will see here if you check the history, you will see that this has been assigned to IN. So if I go back in different browser and sign out this and sign in with another user, user, okay, in admin. So this user must have a notification here. See this one. If you open, you will find this page. Now, if the user can take a decision, either assign back or move to level two. So let me move to level two here. So this has been sent to another approval. And if you see history now going back, let me refresh this. You will see that history, this has been assigned to a new second level user. If I assign out this level one and sign in with level two. This must see a again notification level two approval. So now this guy also even assigned back to level one or unlock. Unlock means the success because the name of the next step is unlock. So let me do this. It's approved. Now you will see one more page inside that uh, replication queue. Okay, this has been here. So that way you can add branching with different approval process. So let me run one more time here this with any other website. Okay, so content and geeks, let's say the German site and publish this. Obviously, you must not see any instance here because there is no approval process needed. It will itself complete. So if I come here and refresh this, there is a one more, one more page which is related to DE. State forward, it will be published. Reason being, there is no approval process required. So what did you learn here? The branching. They obviously, there are more permutation combination about this. But intention here is to make you understand the branching and decision. You can add other steps. That is a different use case. Okay. I hope you understood. If you have any question, add your comment. Thank you.